Hi, Simon here, Solomon's Tales. Number. <laughs> Exciting. We're in that Excite nightclub. Solomon's in the <laughs> Excite nightclub. Got six girls with him. Round table. Whiskey, ice bucket, ice, soda water. He's got beers, great music. Everyone's jigging and dancing and around the tables. The girls, all of the six girls, are sort of taking it in turns to come round, except one with short hair here. Short hair is stood next to Solomon. Her name's Kay, it turns out. Short hair, Bob, really attractive, great figure. She's about the same age as Solomon, 35, 37, a bit older. The three girls they picked up halfway up at the one bar, really attractive. In fact, one was very unattractive. Anyway, they're all jigging around one by one. They come and make their own massage and grab him in places they shouldn't and squeezing his backside. And they're all jigging and having a laugh. And so, they're drinking. They're on a session. You should never, if you're in any country, get drunk and hammered with people you don't know, freelance girls. <laughs> Next morning, that's a big jump. <laughs> Solomon opens his eyes, a sort of hangover from hell. Now, he'd only had about 4,000 baht with him the night before, left in his pocket. And he'd said to this short haired girl, I've only got 4,000 bar, and that's it. He, he, he waking up and he starts looking around and he's in a strange room. So it's just, it's a, like a 12 foot, 12 foot room. And he looks on his right, he's in a bed. The bed's on the floor, the mattress. And he looks on his right and he's got a girl. I don't know which one. Anyway, he's got four girls to his right. There's another little mattress, single mattress there. There's four of them on his right. It turns out they all got these weird kiddies pajamas on. Stupid cartoon characters. To his left, right next to him, shorter K. Pants and bra. Behind her, cuddled right up tight. The other girl from the bamboo bar. The, f the one that was walking down Walking Street with her pants and bra and him and he look at just his box of shorts on he's like oh, where am I what the what happened and he's like oh no he's in a room with six girls <laughs> no recollection of he remembers drinking at the site that's it blank because he starts stirring at it, Kay and this other girl both. Kay, I don't think, got that drunk because she was straight awake. See him, she, you okay, you okay? He's like, oh, hangover, oh, what happened? She goes, well, we get drunk and we come back here, stay here. Everything okay? He's like, oh, okay, whatever. She goes, what do you want, hangover? food and he's like oh, bread croissants rolls coffee and she's like okay okay paracetamol so she goes stands up very attractive great figure great body throws some clothes on kicks her friend says take care kicks the other girl on the other side take care and off she goes. So the girl, both sides, move, snuggle up. One starts massaging his head. The other one's just massaging chest and cuddle up. And <laughs> sort of, and he's getting excited. And like, no, no, no. They're just half asleep. And he's like, what the hell? Oh. He's just had a night. He's just slept with six girls. Not really, but he's, well, he has, he's slept with six girls. That's hedonistic for you. Three were freelancers, three works in a bar. He was lucky. They've taken care of him. 
15, 20 minutes later, Kay comes back. And he's like, oh. and she kneels down, grabs a bottle of water, Sara tablets, paracetamol. Here you go, take these. And he sort of sits up and, and then she's like, there's a sort of a table and a seat over there. And she pushes him, get up, go over there. And he's just in his boxes, sits him down. She bought some croissants from the bakery. Oh, oh. and a coffee. 7 Eleven. So, so, and all the girls then are starting to stir. Well, a couple of them not, but most of them are stirring. And uh, he drinks the coffee, has the croissants in it. Oh, great. And he thinks, what happened? He said, now, Kay speaks quite good English. She said, well, we all drink, drunk. And we come back, room. He's like, oh. She says, sorry, we spend your 4,000 baht gone. She says, I spent 2,000 baht. And he's like, oh my God, 6,000 baht. That means they must have got through about seven or eight bottles of whiskey. Or mind you, his beers as well. Oh, and he says, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll sort that. She goes, no, no, no. He said, no, he said. She, she was happy to spend 2,000 baht and not want it back. And he's like, no, no, I'll, I'll fix it. And she's really smiling and happy. And he's like, oh, God. God knows what time of the morning it was. Probably about 10 ish. Paid for his hotel room and he never used it. Anyway, so was this Kay's home? And he said, you live it? No, no, no. Another room. <laughs> she said, I want to go get changed. You're back hotel. Okay. He's starting to feel a bit better, but still hangover. Wants more coffee, more coffee. So, Kay says goodbye to the girls, grabs Solomon, out the door. And they are, God knows what, well, way away from the beach, outside. And it's it's a big, is it Narin or something, uh, apartment? Or, it's, he hadn't been there before. So, they go outside, she, there's a couple of bike taxis sat at the front on the road. And it's quite a big apartment and condos, there's cars everywhere. They walk to the front of the road. She gets the bike taxi, throws Solomon on behind the guy and she jumps on the back. Tells the bike taxi where to go. And he's like, Ooh. he's just about hanging on for grim life, no helmet. So, yeah, this must be, he's had one night. One complete night. So he arrives Sunday night. So this must be like Tuesday morning. A bike taxi. Off to Kay's room. Again, it's another sort of condo places. Um, and she says, i got to get changed. Um, sit outside. Outside, below these condos and things, was another little cafe. And Solomon was like, Ah, uh, cafe. He got no money. She paid the bike taxi. That's good. He ain't got nothing left. He got, Hang on a minute, I've got no money for coffee and stuff. And she's already bought him coffee. She's like, he's like, oh, I want coffee. And, and she's like, oh, just throw him a hundred bar. Freelancer, giving him money. <laughs> Jackpot. And he's like, oh, money. And he goes and sits outside this cafe, coffee. He's got no cigarettes and he's like, oh, coffee's cost 25 baht. And he says, Burry, Burry, cigarette? And he's like, yeah, they got about 40 odd baht and like, buy some cigarettes. That's the 100 baht gone, pretty much. <sighs> Smoking away, coffee. Head starting to clear a little bit. And he's like, oh, I don't remember last night. Six girls. Oh, that could have been, could have been painful could have been really bad, could have ended up in all sorts of problems. Oh dear, but no. These freelancers, well, the three of them were freelancers, brilliant. And Kay, she is something else. She's really, well, great girl. So he finished his 
snacks and coffee and he just sort of walks in there's like a reception area so goes in and just looks down the corridors it's just lots of little rooms it's almost this quite depressing building actually but he's just nosing around comes back out the front down comes Kay dressed up quite smart sort of three quarter length shorts and uh, nice top she's got a bag she's got a rucksack as well handbag and a rucksack What's that all about? <laughs> Whatever. She says, we go to your hotel, shower. He goes, yeah. And he says, you come as well? She says, yeah, yeah, I'll come as well. And he thinks, ah, I want company. I've got a hangover, she can take care of me. Bike taxi, back to his hotel. She pays the bike taxi. So she's out of pocket about 2,000. 140 baht or something. Amazing. Go pay him for him. Nah, he won't. He's got to pay her back. Anyway, into his hotel. Up to his room. And Kay dumps her rucksack on the uh, on the sort of desk mirror bit. He said, "I've got to have a shower." And he starts stripping off to go in the shower. He gets embarrassed, he goes in, throwing his clothes up. Gets in the shower, she gets in with him. Kay appears, in she goes. Oh, amazing. Absolutely. Flick around the room. Whatever, hour, half an hour, two minutes, whatever it was. He, Wow, aerobics, thrown in, brilliant. She's a really nice girl. I haven't met a girl like this before in Thailand. They massage, they finish aerobics and then she's really good massage. And he's like, oh, and the headaches go in and he's like, really nice. Anyway. Back in the shower again. And he's right, food. He says to Kate, So what? You're not work? Bar or no? No, not work. Um, just, yeah, around, find customers sometimes. Sometimes work, bar a little bit. Not have boyfriend. Um, not have kids. Not married. Never been married. Whether this is true or not, no one knows. She says, um, can I spend the day with you? And he's like, oh yeah, oh definitely. <laughs> no problem. He says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he thinks, ah, money. He flicks into the safe. Throws a 3,000 bar. Like, yeah, that's for last night and morning. And she's like, sure, yeah. He grabs another bag, another 5,000 baht, in the closer safe, locks it up. She's happy, she's got some money and a bonus and a tip, and he's like, right, food. Out of the hotel, she leaves her rucksack there. Okay, she's dressed nice, he's put his smart shirt on me. He's got to buy some more clothes, stay another week, he needs some. It's just cheaper to buy new clothes than go to laundry, you know. Shirts are like a hundred baht and shorts are two, three hundred baht and anyway, right, food. He says, oh, where we get food? He says, Second Road, that place he went before where we had the steak. Up there, just opposite, loads of Thai food, all the bar girls go to and he she says, go up there. You want Thai food? English? Western? And he's like, Thai food, rice, meat, dry me up a bit. All that alcohol. Oh, hey, one trip to Topsoy Eight, round to the right, uh, along a bit, and there's a stack of restaurants, Thai food, little restaurants there. And they pile in, have some food, chat a bit, get to know each other a little bit more. She's really digging him, and he's really digging her, and she's she's quite interesting, and she's quite clever, intelligent. And, Oh, lovely girl. Sort of special. Hmm. 
Oh dear. This is the Tuesday lunchtime. End of the week, he's back to the UK. Remember, hedonistic holiday. Well, it's definitely turning out like that. And he's got to get Thailand out of his system. Whew. So, eat food. Oh, got that time again. Okay. She's special. She's different. Hey, she's special. He sort of met her on Beach Road. Sort of well, followed her into the bamboo bar, which is sort of on Beach Road. <laughs> First initial of her name's K. <laughs> I remember, I'm sure we've done stories about that name, K. But it's not the same. No. Coincidence, but there you go. Sort of met a freelancer on sort of Beaches Road in the bamboo bar. Catch you on the next one.